Would you date a girl who's not a virgin or has a past? What do you guys think about a girl shooting her shot? Fight. I need to do my intro, but I'm shy. I'm gonna go to the side and do my intro because I'm too shy. <laughs> What's up, brothers and sisters? I'm Sav, we back, and today we are currently at a young adults barbecue. It's to kick off our new young adults group that we're having at our church. And I'm a little bit shy to be talking to the camera in front of everybody, but we gonna get it. We're doing some games, we're playing Jenga, and it literally fell on me the last time. <laughs> but now the guys are playing, so. Bro, what the heck? The bottom. <laughs> I got a good one too. It was the bottom. Drop it. Okay. Okay. I am the one, the way you turn them. I'm dead. Rip it out. <laughs> I feel like Johnny's gonna drop it for sure. Dang. Oh ah. Johnny in my shot. <laughs> How you gonna check your phone while pulling one out? <laughs> oh, just rip it. Oh! All right, so we're messing with Pabby right now because I'm pretty sure he's trying to invite Johnny at the last second, but Johnny's already here. <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's go. Pabby thinks that he's not here. <laughs> What's up, Pabby? <laughs> you made it, dude. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like <laughs> I invited him early. You tried to invite him at the last second. No, 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 no. Hi Noah. This is Noah. He's gonna pretend like he doesn't want to be in my vlog. <laughs> that was satisfying getting that reaction. <laughs> you wanna play? Yeah. So you were already here. <laughs> I'm texting Johnny like he's out. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Go Johnny. What the? Are you trying to hit him or what? <laughs> Ooh. Johnny with the throws. I'm about to make it, bro. <laughs> you threw that like if you were shooting hoops. I want to try. I want to try. Hey, I want ice cream. Do they have ice cream? No, but. Have you ate? I kind of ate. <laughs> you gotta get it all the way in the grass. Pabby's a shoe freak. I love it. He's a little freaky for her shoes. <laughs> it's hot. I'm sweating. All right, guys. So we just got done eating for a, a little bit. We we're just all talking, hanging out. I didn't really like want to film that part of the 
of like us hanging out because you know I feel like some of us are still getting to know each other and I feel like that's some more personal time but now we're gonna do a little Q&A it's like questions that Christians are afraid to be asked so this is what we're gonna do and I'm gonna ask the questions and then we're all gonna give our input on it by the way this is everybody y'all say hi Hello. <laughs> okay would you guys prefer a worship in the car date or like a Bible study picnic None of them. <laughs> really Really? No. Car, I would do worship day? in the car. Yeah. Day, like day? you like you hang <laughs> out like Alright, we're gonna drive from here to uh, Let's go worship in the car real quick. To our drive. Y'all don't do drives? Dude, when I was in the world I'd be doing drives and just bumping music. Good guy. Yeah, like a like a little date. Yeah, I would do that. So we just don't Bible study pick? Bible study there. No, like it's you and the person, like together. It's just you and them. Like, go to church. like a picnic. As a date? I'm having a picnic in the car. I'm saying cool. like something for you guys to do, like, you know, outside of church. So, what would you pick? Like to do worship in the car? Ain't Chick fil A. <laughs> or like a little Bible study at the park or something? Really? They're playing Christian music. I would pick worship in the car. Probably the park, though. Well. Park. Park. Park? Worship in the car. That seems awkward. I know. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, not like, not like actually like, yes, Lord, like, like, you know, just like playing like music and chilling and driving around or something. Uh, yeah. So you just know? driving. That's yeah. Okay, I'm picturing something completely different. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm picturing like parking somewhere and just worshiping. <laughs> oh, no. Um, next question for the guys. And Elijah can't answer because he's married. <laughs> Would you date a girl who's not a virgin or has a past? I would. <laughs> you would? Yeah. You would? Yeah. Because she's a new creation. Mm. In Christ, we are a new creation. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 you gonna take that one too. I would date a guy with a past. Y'all right. gonna answer? <laughs> what the heck? No. Hey, yeah, he looks cool. <laughs> I said, would you date a girl that's not a virgin or has a past? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so y'all all would? Yes. Alright, the guys would. All would. The guys would, ladies. Y'all would. Y'all all would. Hey, bring that's, the hand. I would. That's my Texas accent. Hand. Okay, guys. What do you guys think about a girl shooting her shot? Like, as a Christian man, like, do you prefer the girl to shoot their shot? Or would you rather do it? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Yeah. Some guys are So like either or? I think it comes naturally to be honest. Yeah. Like when I talk to them, like you're either like just a friend or like I find something else to do. I think it comes naturally. Just by the conversation you're having. Like I'll probably I'll probably shoot my shot first. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, so the ladies I guess it just depends on the guy. Okay, what do you guys think about modesty? Is it for both guys and girls, or do you think it's more towards girls? What's modesty? What's not modest? Wait, wait. Like modesty, like girls like like dressing more modestly. Do you think modesty is like for both genders, yeah. or okay, more I towards girls? Not to be. I know. I mean, how, what are they gonna do? Like do walk around? Crack or something? <laughs> Show their calves. <laughs> I feel like it's more towards girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. girls. Can I show some cleavage or something? <laughs> no, y'all be taking shirt. off your shirts. <laughs> Elijah, show, show a little peck. <laughs> so, what are some like red flags when it comes to a girl? Ooh, okay. Her attitude. Attitude? I think how social she is. Yeah, if she's not social, then I can't really match with that. Mm. Just because I'm a very social person. So you need someone to like match your energy? In a way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's a red flag for you, Ethan? Um, too demanding. Too demanding? Uh, I don't know a red flag for me. I think if he hits the DMs, that's already a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer like someone to talk to me in person, you know? About shooting her shot, but we want to shoot it a basketball. Yeah, don't don't shoot your shot in the DMs. I think if they're always on their phone. Mm, that too. As she's on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> when you're interested in somebody, do you think it's better to be friends with them first or just like immediately like get into dating? Friends. Be friends. 
your friend. Start a school month. I agree. Date. <laughs> You're like, I'm all in. <laughs> you good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's one of the most difficult things about being a man or woman of God? Like, so far, like, what do you find like has been the most difficult for you? I think being at work for me. Just because nobody's really saved, and usually, like, my co workers, they usually go to parties and, like, at times, like, I, like, kind of, like, contemplate, I'm like, wow, like, wouldn't it be cool going to a party? Yeah. And I think that's a big thing for me. Just my environment. I feel that. Like, same with me. My work. They're always asking, hey, you want to go get a drink after work? You want to go do this and this and this? Uh, I always get the Tom no. Yeah. I'll say work, too. Work? People offer me beer. That's what So, it's, like, the environment that you're surrounded by? Yeah. What do you look for in a Christian woman or like for the ladies, like a man? Like what are some green flags for you when it comes to a person? Look at their relationship with God before anything else. How do they serve? Are they worshiping? Are they not worshiping? Yeah. Are they faithful? If they can't be faithful to God, they can't be faithful to you. Ooh, that's some advice right there. Our definitely relationship with God, you know, that's the most important, especially for all of us. You know, in this Christian walk. But you know, aside from that, I think we're still humans. You know, we still have things that we do. You know, we're not always like in prayer. We're not always reading our Bible. You know, for being honest, we're not always in worship. You know, like, you know, like we have time set aside for God. You know, and I believe we all have that time that we want to dedicate to the Lord. But I also feel like there's interests that we all have personally. You know, you know, for me, I think it's just the things that you like. You know, like. You know, like, I, I know Elijah and Alyssa, you know, they have things in common. You know, obviously, they're both together and married now. So I think it's just your commonalities, things that you have similar with. I like, common interests? Like, yeah. I don't know about age, though. I don't know about age gap. I don't think it makes a few difference, well, depending Perfect. on your age. I care about age gap. <laughs> I think some people do. Do you guys care about age gap? Yeah. yeah. Not really. No. Really? Have you on some old ladies? Dude, I think old ladies are cute, I'm be honest with you. Secure the bag. Dude, like... You feel so young. The old ladies at church are going to be like... Ah, ha, ha. I don't know, I think a big interest for me is like sports and baseball. If y'all like baseball, hit up Pabby. If you cook too, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Johnny. Yeah, gotta For Johnny, you gotta cook. Gotta yeah, cook. My husband's gonna have to cook. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to Jack the Box. For me, a green flag would be like, I want like a guy that would like, I feel like teach me more, you know? Because I feel like, like me where I'm at, I feel like I'm always like giving out. You know, like like with all the youth and stuff, I feel like I'm always pouring into people like every day and through social media too. So I would want somebody like that could help pour into me. I would just say like you have like a goal, like they need to see where they can see themselves, you know. Yeah. They already have a goal where they want to be, where they're gonna be. Nice. Yeah. Wow. That's good. And commonality too, yes. And that's always important. That's yeah, that's a good <laughs> one, dude. Like you know, like we all I know we all serve God, we all go to ministry. you know, we all do ministry, we all do these things but a big thing for me is like, do you have yourself prepared? Like, do you have a job? You know, are you like, you, you know, because I feel like, I feel like it's both even for like men and for like a woman and a male to work and then have a job, you know? I mean, there's some people who, where the male works, but for me personally, I, I want like a woman who's, who's like on her stuff as well, you know? Yeah. When it comes to like actual living. Because, you know, there's that due diligence of having to have a job, you know, and having to apply for yourself. Yeah. Have a relationship with God before they try to get in a relationship with somebody here on. Yeah. That's probably a big thing. Yeah, that's good. Would you date a girl or a guy that's lukewarm? Oh. Or like say like you're like you're you're dating them already and then they kind of like go off. Like would you continue to date them? Like you're dating them already? Yeah. No. The Bible is very clear about unequally yoked. Mm -hmm. If they're being dragged down, they're just gonna drag me down. Yeah. You can take time apart and pray for them. Say, God, if this is your will for me, then let them come back to you. But if it's not, then like take those feelings I have away. And but, take the, like, to be able to get yourself out of that so you can focus on yeah. your own relationship with but God. But if they're not doing well, then they're just going to drag you down. And because you have feelings for them, you're just going to follow them. Yeah, that's wow. true. Because I feel like that's a that's a big problem for people in the church that are dating or even like come to Christianity and then they're still dating somebody, 
you know, is that their partner is still in the world. What about if you're married? I think for marriage, you'd have to fight for it and like fast pray. and pray. Yeah. When it comes to marriage, that's different. At the end of it, your relationship with God becomes, comes before anything else. Yeah. You know, when you die, you're not going to be with that person. So is it worth risking going to hell or risking your relationship with God just for another person? Yeah. Do y'all ever get hurt or offended when like a person that you're interested in says, God doesn't want me in a relationship at the moment. Like, do you guys get hurt or offended by that? Or you're just like, oh, okay, like, that makes sense. Like, I respect it. Maybe y'all are, like, talking or something, or, like, you're interested in them. You know, you shoot your shot, and then they're like, nah, God doesn't want me in a relationship. Like, do you get hurt or offended by that? I think my non-Christian self would, but... I would come to understanding that who am I to question God's will. Mm. That's good. I feel like I tell everybody that. <laughs> Everyone that hits me up, I'm like, no. Even if I don't like them, I'm like, I'm not so ready. Yeah. I have to say no, not right now. Because I feel like that's what a lot of people use, you know? That's why I was asking like, if y'all get hurt or offended by that. Well, that's it for the video. Um, I hope some of like, the things that we all said help some of you guys out there because I know like these are questions that you know a lot of Christians have and a lot of Christians ask and they're going through at the moment good luck Charlie <laughs> good luck with y'all little Christian dating teams bye don't get out of my shot <laughs> Ooh, be my vlog so we're getting boba now boba time it's boba time um, because me and Johnny are crackheads for boba I love what about you? Yeah. Noah, he's a first timer. We're gonna put him on. Yes, uh. <laughs> These guys trying to figure out what they want. <laughs> you scared or what? I'm scared of you. And here's the dad ordering for us. Thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah, everything if we're gonna be friends, you guys have to be comfortable with being on camera. Alright, I'm getting more comfortable now. Yay! <laughs> Me no speak English. <laughs> this dude has to catch up on my videos. I do too. Because he's a fake fan. Fake fans right here. <laughs> Alright guys, we got our boba. <laughs> He's still watching my video in front of me. Bro, look at this. <laughs> look at this right here, dog. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not watching. I'm done. I'm done. But if y'all haven't watched the recent vlog, go watch it right now. Because these dudes are still catching up. Yeah. We got our boba and now we're going to head home. So say bye, guys. Bye. Take bye. Care. Bye, guys. All right, guys, I just got home. If the lighting looks like this, it's because I'm using my phone because my room's dark and the baby's asleep right now. This is the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope y'all took some of that advice kind of or whatever or just our input on some of these questions. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really trying my best to get as much content as I can, but I still feel kind of weird and awkward with being on camera sometimes. I think it's just around certain people that I feel awkward with, like with the camera, because you know, it's kind of new. You know, it's not something that I do every day, but we gonna get used to it, okay? And to everyone who was in my video today, thank you so much, I love you guys. And thank you Alyssa and Elijah for hosting this whole thing. It was, it was fun. I had a really good time and I'm pretty sure everybody else that went did. I'm excited to see where you guys take this in the future. And just to see where else God takes you together as a young couple in the kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until my next video, God bless you. Bye. Bye.